Welcome to our video. Today we have the pleasure to show you two new products from Untracked Audio by Design. We have two new AC Powerline filters. This one is called the EF215. This one is called the EF220. And these have been developed in conjunction with some of our customer requests who have decided that they would like something that is dedicated to high current usage and something that only has two outlets. And at OnTrack Audio by Design, we are all about the philosophy of give the people what they want, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. So, here's the EF215, here's the EF220. Would you mind telling us a little bit about how these two are different from each other? They're very much similar, but they do have a couple of minor differences. The insides are exactly the same. They both have a specific design, high current network designed for high current draw and high power transient. They both have a 20 amp outlet. They both have dual 10 gauge internal wire for ultimate power transfer. The only difference are the EF220 have a 20 amp inlet and the EF215 have a 15 amp inlet. And also the fuse on the EF220 is a 20 amp fuse and the EF215 have a 15 amp fuse. The reason for that, that we have two models, are because most homes that still have a 15 amps outlet, and putting a 20 amp unit on a 15 amp outlet is not a recommended uh, usage. So that's that's why we have a 15 amp version of the high current filter for the 15 amps outlet. However, there's a lot of us will go for the trouble to put a 20 amp lines into the into the uh, fuse panel. 20 amps! <laughs> so, that's why we have a 20 amp unit for that 20 amps line. Again, we have talked about the bottleneck, bottleneck here, bottleneck there. So, if you have a 20 amp line, you don't want to put a 15 amp unit to be a bottleneck. So, that's why you, we built a 20 amp unit version for these filters, for the 20 amp lines out there. We want you to be able to use every single one of those 20 amps. So the next question I would have is, we have an EF-130 here somewhere. Yes, we have. Let's talk a little bit about how the EF-130 is different from the, either the 215 or the 220, which are virtually the same unit, outlets and inlets notwithstanding. Um, the most obvious difference with the EF-130 or the EF-120 or the EF-110 is that it's got six outlets on the outside. Yes. But there are other internal differences. The internal dif the internal differences are the, the the 200 series of filter the 215 and 220 have like I said before it has a specific design for high current ultra high power transient filter network. This one the EF 130 120 110 has a non current limited network. It's good for very high current but when it comes to extreme high power for the music transient for high power draw for like 300 watts amp the 200 series the 220 220 and 215 is better than the 130 120 and 110 yeah. now i think it's important to note that these are not necessarily a replacement for the 110 120 or 130 these are purpose built for very high current applications so it's very possible that you would use it's very unlikely, actually, that you would replace an EF-130 with an EF-215. But there's every reason to believe that you would use it in conjunction. Again, this is the EF-130 is great for a system when you've got all the components in one place. You know, one stand rack, one set of gear, put the EF-130 behind it, plug everything in, and off you go, and, and it's fine. But these are for specific setup types of purposes. Let's talk about that specific let's setup. Okay, let's, let's move some equipment around. So let's say you have a listening room with your listening chair on one end, your turntable, your streamer, your phone on stage, pre m on, on closer to the listening chair, and your speaker and power amp on the other end. Now, so, one of the things we'd like to eliminate if you've got equipment separated throughout your room is first of all we don't want cords running all over the place I mean this is probably from this piece of from this rack of equipment down back into here 
it's going to wind up being a 12 foot run, a 15 foot run, maybe a 20 foot run. Cords are messy, we don't want them all over the place. But the other thing is that cords will also pick up some electrical interference at that length. The 20 foot cord is going to act like an antenna and pick up some of the dirt that we've tried to filter out already. We don't want to introduce dirt back in. Yes, so yeah. you'll be using a filter, a multi-purpose filter like a 130, 120, 110 on your line component, your source, and then a 200 series, 220 or 215 on your power amp on the other end. Right. So, here we have pair of speakers. This could be your power amp. This could be a set of mono blocks. You've got two outlets. You plug, you plug your power amplifier into your EF215 or EF220 and you've got your separate separate power power filtration down here and you're good to go. Yeah, that's a simple uh, full room setup with both ends but when you add in components sometimes you have an active speaker, active subwoofer. I have, have some subwoofers, subwoofers right there. here because we want more bass because it's all about the bass. Okay. Then, then your uh, then your outlet count is going to be add up. Yeah. Now I'm going to take this out for a minute because I'm going to proudly demonstrate what I do. Can I have that filter, please? Yes. I'm going to proudly demonstrate what I do in my system. Um, I run active speakers. I have ATC active speakers. I love them. That's advertising. I'm sorry. I couldn't help doing a little bit of it. Um, and what I have is sub active speaker subwoofer, which I would plug in. To the EF215, and I have an active speaker and a powered subwoofer, which I would plug into another EF215. Um, so now I've got two separated units. These both sit by the wall, hard to see the cables, no long cable runs, everything's close and neat and tidy, and I've got a uh, high current capacity for both of these components here: the powered subwoofer and the and the active speaker, which need high current which which use high current draw yeah so you'll be using two of the either 215 or 220 yeah. on that end now yeah. some people <laughs> some people have video and they would need something else down here. Now it would depend on your screen and your video system. You might need something simple like an EF110 for the TV screen or you might have something that's a lot bigger and needs a higher current draw in which case you would use another, another, another 200 series another filter. 200 series filter, an EF250 or an EF220. Or maybe there's another component that you have down here as well that we're not thinking of right now. So basically we're partitioning off areas of a system and giving each area of the system its own its own uh, power filtration unit. Yeah. yeah. So that's how we would use them. Uh, that's how. That's what the customers that are asking about this are looking for. That's the type, and it's a more elaborate system. It's it's not for everybody, but it's common enough that we thought that we would put together a product that would that would help people out that are in this situation. Yeah. Let's bring that stereo power amp back. Bring the stereo power amp back, of course. Now. With the stereo power amp, we actually have six active components on that end, so you might be adding another 200 series filter in there, yeah. or we actually have um, custom division. We do have so a custom division. You can request a four outlet unit of the 200 series filter. Um, it's a special order, but we, will, we can do it. Yep. I think that's it for the presentation. <clears throat> Obviously there are going to be a lot of questions and we are most happy to answer any questions that you may have. You can contact me through my website at ontractaudio.com. You can contact me through email at ontractaudio at rogers.com. You can contact Gilbert at, on Facebook at Gilbert's Little Art Creations. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Thank you.